Welcome ladies and gentlemen, Ark here, and I'd like to ask you a favor. If you find this video useful, please do make sure to subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, and I'm starting to gift subscribers. More info at the end of the video. Please enjoy. Welcome back, I'm here to share some tips and tricks that help me improve, and I'm certain will help you too. To get us started as usual, I will leave timestamps in the comments and description of this video for you to skip to whatever setting you find useful or have in mind. In this video, I will cover left thumb stick adjustments, rushing and failing to predict your shots properly, keeping your crosshair leveled, tracking the enemy, and lastly, using low dead zone settings. If you find them useful, make sure to subscribe and leave your opinion or question in the comments. Everyone's default controller layout makes it so that you move with your left stick and aim with your right stick. What most players forget is that you can add precision to your shots. If you aim with your left thumb stick too, how it works is that you have to aim as regular with your right stick and when flicking instead of stopping or running in the direction, move yourself parallel to the right stick, your aiming precision will increase and you will land more shots and you will improve your gaming skill. All pro players use two sticks as I described to aim and shoot their shots. Once you get the hang of left stick aiming, you won't be able to switch back because of how much better it is. It's something you have to incorporate not only into Fortnite, but every other game as well. It's a basic skill everyone must learn and master. It especially helps with swaying crosshairs. When you aim at people, your crosshair occasionally sways past the enemy and your sensitivity isn't low enough to adjust it to that tiny inch. You can use your left movement thumbstick to correct and get a better shot. For the next topic, we have don't rush your shots or fail to predict your shots. All it takes is a fraction of a second to line up your shots properly. What I mean is, don't be the player who, while aiming at the enemy, shoots just as their crosser is on them. This is a common mistake a lot of players make of all skill brackets and it's super easy to fix. To correct this wrong behavior, all you have to do really is just wait a couple of milliseconds. It's not super hard and it's just enough time for you to line up your shot exact on the enemy player. This will decrease your chances of missing your pre-fire shots a lot. Especially sniper rifles incorporate this skill to the fullest if you want to land your shots over long distance. What you must keep in mind is that hitting a player while they are moving even slightly is 2 if not 10 times harder than if they are frozen in place. So for snipers, I recommend to wait for the enemy player to stop entirely if not slightly and only then line up and take the shot. With these tactics in mind, you will see your accuracy and hit rate climb significantly, winning you more games. My next point is, level your crosshairs correctly. Fortnite takes a lot of skill to aim vertically because everyone wants higher ground. What you can do to counter most players is focus on the placement of your crosshair. Anticipate where the enemy might be peeking or coming from. If you're out on the field, have your crosshair level on the ground where the enemy might appear over the horizon. And if you're mid-fight, then look at the walls, the doors, frames, windows, wherever the enemy might be, edit, shoot from at you. In order to become better, you must pre-aim and find patterns in enemy players' movement. What I mean is look at the way they build. If you notice a pattern like, hey, he only builds walls in front of him and to the sides, so his back is presumably open. Use that knowledge and overbuild. Get behind him and use that to kill him. Other things you can look out for even in regular shootouts is how the enemy player runs or jumps. Do they always jump when firing a shotgun in close range? That's a very common behavior for most players. And what you can do to fight back is crouch. While you're low crouch and he's high up in the air, it'll be more difficult to aim and land headshots. Little things like these is what wins you games and makes you a better player than the rest. My next tip is learn to track players free walls. If you're in a box fight, newly built walls are see-free, so use that to your advantage. You can always keep an eye out for enemy players even if they got you cornered. Don't be a sitting duck. Look for an opening, for example, if the enemy player suddenly turns around and starts running away. You can edit the wall really quickly and shoot your shot which is already lined up on them. Shoot them in the back and pursue. Most importantly, don't let the enemy get a shot on you first. Aim your crosser straight at them through the wall. And if they open edit the wall for a quick second and shoot you once, you'll be ready to shoot back at them. Least you can do is exchange shots. You can analyze pros gameplay and you'll notice no one is getting a shot on them without one being returned. Add offense to your defense, sort of like a Spartan spear and shield technique. Protect yourself and most importantly, point outwards a sharp spear, letting the enemy know you're not someone to be messed with. So be ready to shoot them if they peek. For the last point, I would say adjust your dead zone to a low sensitivity. It can be useful. It's not broken or anything to exploit, but you can make it so that enemy players who jump at you right at your crosser 
can be easily followed by your controller without you even touching it. Adjusting this setting to a very low sensitivity will save you at times when there is an explosion or your screen is not visible. You can't see the enemy because of the black smoke and other things in Fortnite and in that moment your auto aim will help you slightly get a drop on the person. Don't be surprised if this completely locks your crosser at the enemy giving you the best shot possible because it doesn't work like that all the time. And most importantly don't forget to play just a lot of games because that's how you get good. Hey guys this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoy and find it useful. If you want to join my future battle pass and v-box giveaways do make sure to easily apply by subscribing and leaving a comment with your Fortnite user.